Hi everyone, I'm Jess and you're watching Cooking with Mary Jess. Thank you so much for watching my first video. This channel is going to be everything edibles. Today, I'm so excited to share my perfect recipe for your at-home infusion. No more guesswork when it comes to your edibles. Here's what you need to know. First, you wanna think about your calculations. In this video, I use a gram for every half cup of butter or oil. That means if I'm making a dozen cookies and it uses a half cup of butter, that's gonna be a thousand milligrams divided by 12 cookies, giving me approximately 80 to 85 milligrams per cookie of THC. If you're looking for a lower dosage, I would recommend 0.25s of your cannabis in a half cup of butter in order to get approximately 20 to 25 milligrams of THC in every single edible, as long as you're dividing by 12. Next, let's preheat the oven. You wanna set your oven to 245. We're gonna do this in order to decarboxylate our weed and activate the THC. If you wanna learn more about decarboxylating your weed, take a look below and I'll leave a description about decarboxylization and everything you need to know about removing carboxyl groups. Alrighty, while your oven's preheating, let's get all the supplies you're gonna need to run this infusion. You're gonna need a mason jar, your butter or oil, paper towels, rubber bands, an oven safe dish, a strainer, cheesecloth, or nylon mesh. Any of those will work. I'm using a metal mesh strainer today. You're also gonna need a pot with about two inches of water, and of course, your weed and a kitchen scale to measure your weed out with. All right, now we're gonna grind up our weed. I like to hand grind my weed and just break it up into smaller chunks, but there's a myth out there that you have to grind your weed up in a grinder, but there's no scientific proof about that. And I've personally never seen a difference. A lot of people I know like to cook their edibles and run their infusions with full mugs. I personally just like to get a little bit more surface area, but that's up to you. Once you've ground your weed up and put it into your oven safe dish, go ahead and stick it in the oven and set a timer for 10 minutes. I like to check my weed at 10 minutes just to make sure that there's no browning at this point and to rotate it so it, it hits all the hot spots in the oven. Then let it run for approximately another 10 minutes. 20 minutes tends to be my perfect hot spot where I start to see brown spotting across the weed and that's when I know my weed is activated and ready to infuse. While your weed is in the oven, you're gonna go ahead and set up your mason jars so you're ready to run your infusions when the weed is ready. Go ahead and set up your mason jars by putting your half cup of butter or your half cup of oil into your mason jars. In this video, I'm also infusing my oil with whole shelled garlic and whole green peppercorns. This is just to add some extra flavor, but it's not necessary if you do not want to add these things. Once your weed is ready, go ahead and take it out of the oven and wait for it to be cool to touch. Once it's cool to touch, go ahead and weigh and separate it out into your jars. If you're only running one infusion, just go ahead and put all your weed into your one mason jar. And now we're gonna wrap our mason jars with our paper towels um, and go ahead and do that with a rubber band just over the top. Or if you have the lid of the mason jar, screw the lid on over top of the paper towel. Go ahead and place these mason jars inside your pot of water with at least two inches of water in the pot and you're gonna run your infusion. I like to keep my pot of water on about medium heat. I don't want the water to be boiling, but I do want it to be simmering. You want your butter to melt, your oil to heat up. This is gonna continue the activation process while still infusing the THC and CBD into your butters and oils, but it won't burn your butter or oil. Remember to check your infusion every hour on the hour and refill the water in your pot in order to make sure that you don't burn the butter or oil by having a lack of water in the pot. At approximately six hours, go ahead and strain your infusion. Here I'm using a metal sieve to strain my oil into a secondary mason jar. You can strain your infusion into whatever storage container you're using. I then push my nugs through the sieve in order to ensure that I'm getting 
as much of the oil or butter out of the nugs and through the sieve as possible so I'm not wasting any of my product. And that's it. You've just made the perfect at-home infusion. Make sure you use any oils or butters within a week of infusing. Let me know in the comments below how your infusions turn out and what recipes you want to see me make. Thank you so much for watching and happy 420! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your results down below. See you later. Bye!